eight affordable outfit ideas to always look chic on a budget this January 2021. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and a new series for this year. Once a month I will be bringing you the very best of the high street with a whole variety of outfit ideas that will look chic without breaking the bank. And to make it even more fun, I thought we'd kickstart this series with a giveaway where one person could win a hundred pounds voucher to spend at Mango as they see fit. When you hear this sound, I want you to guess the price of the piece that I'm talking about and let me know in the comments section below. I'll put the correct names in a hat and announce the winner in next month's edition of Chic on a Budget. Just for clarification, this giveaway is not in conjunction with Mango, it's courtesy of me and my own pennies, so no cheating. Have a go trying to guess the price of a piece without having a look at any websites first. If you're not already subscribed, it would be really lovely if you'd like to do so, and don't forget to tap all on the notification pop-up. And at the end of this video, follow the link in the description box below to find my daily style pictures over on Instagram. Right, let's get stuck in to some affordable outfits that I found for this first episode of Chic on a Budget. When I'm shopping for affordable outfits, one place I always have a look is H&M's premium quality range and their conscious selection. I often find far too much that I want to add to basket and I really feel like they've got that quality to price point balance spot on. So when I saw this first item, a masculine dark beige coat, it was a bit of a no-brainer. I personally really love this quite boyish shape and though the tone is camel, it's actually quite different to the coat I already have. I would probably use this as an everyday winter coat and save my trench version for best. Now as per the Conscious Range's effort to be more sustainable, this one has actually been made from a blend of viscose and recycled polyester. I think my favourite thing about it really is the cut and the fact that they've done raglan sleeves which just helps that drape really nicely over your arm. Now I went true to size with a small and as you can see in this footage it is coming up pretty oversized. I personally like it that oversized but I know lots of you wouldn't. So if you are interested in this coat I would advise sizing down unless you want a really oversized feel. Florals are one of the big trends that we're going to be seeing for spring summer 2021 and we've already seen the high street full to the brim with them. I personally love the style. I think it's the one time I feel utterly convinced to get into something more colorful. And the trend just feels full of hope, which I think we all need right now. Now I've found lots of affordable floral dresses recently, but this one from Faze is one of my favorites for when I want to look chic on a budget. First up, it's been made from their sustainably sourced collection, so using a recycled polyester chiffon. And then you've got this deep drop here before you come to that first seam of layers, which I find much more flattering than most maxi dresses. Then you've got two more deep frilled hems, obviously long sleeves, but these are loose enough to be able to roll back as we get into the height of summer. Styling wise, as you can see, I would wear it with tights and my favorite ankle boots. In summer, I'd style it with flat sandals, maybe with a pair of heels if I was after a wedding. Fingers crossed someone gets married this summer. And I think it would also look really nice with a pair of classic white trainers, so really dressed down. It's floaty, it's feminine, it's on trend, it's sustainable. So I think it's the perfect example of how to look chic on a budget. Now when it comes to affordable outfits and wanting to look chic on a budget, Mango is always a great place to have a look. I actually didn't shop with them very much last season, but their new collection is just my cup of tea. I've been adding things to my wish list like there's no tomorrow. They've got some really beautiful and affordable pieces right now, so I'm really excited to see how that develops as we move into spring. One item that's hugely on trend for 2021, but will work whatever the weather, is wide leg trousers. So I spotted this pair made from a viscose blend with those lovely deep darts running down the front. I love the wide shape, I love the color, which I know is going to mix and match with a lot of pieces I already have. Keeping it really simple and crisp and elegant, I've added a classic white button down shirt. I've left a few buttons open, added my gold necklace, and then just rolled the sleeves back a few times to make it feel really relaxed. And the only other addition I've added is a pair of white trainers. So a really simple look. I feel really comfy, I feel like me. So I'd be really interested to hear everyone's different opinions on them in the comments section below.
I talk a lot in my videos about adding a pair of classic wide trainers and they're classic for a reason. They never fail to make an outfit look timeless. I have a few different pairs ranging from all different price points. From the higher end with Golden Goose down to a pair that I picked up in Aldi randomly. I did let Walter customize that pair though so I've not had too much wear out of them since. But if you're watching Walter, I love them. I just need to find the right outfit to put them with. And my point is I don't mind investing if I find the perfect pair. But that's not to say that you can't find a perfectly chic pair on a budget either. Case in point, I found this lovely pair in the sale at New Look. Now they are particularly known for their really affordable and quite on-trend shoes. But in all honesty, even if these weren't in the sale, they were really affordable in the first place. Now they've got more of a platform sole than I would usually wear, but that's not a bad thing, it's just different for me. This outfit is just crying out for a pair of classic white trainers to finish. And I was really pleasantly surprised to find such an affordable pair. It was really sad to see Debenhams had become the latest casualty of the coronavirus. I often found the odd piece on their website, particularly with their own range they had, a um, slightly higher end called Clay, which is actually where I got this lovely yellow top from. Now though it looks like silk, this top has actually been made from 100% tensile, so a really sustainable fabric that feels lovely against your skin. I love these puff shoulders, which again, is one of the big trends we're seeing for spring summer. And of course the color is just like a ray of sunshine in a gloomy winter's day. So as you can see, I kind of needed to add another layer or two to this outfit to make it work for winter. I kept the baggy jeans on as I really like that light blue wash denim against such a great pop of yellow. And then on my feet, I went with my suede Western boots that I got from Everlane. Now this top is in the sale, discounted twice now, I think. Um, as well as lots of other pieces on Debenham's website, so absolutely worth having a look. Yellow always makes me smile, and being super affordable and sustainable too is like icing on the cake. Another really feminine and affordable dress for you now that I've particularly fallen in love with. Like the coat, this one also came from H&M Conscious Range, so you know it's been sustainably sourced as well as a really pretty dress. Hopefully by now I have convinced you to make use of all those dresses you have in your wardrobe. There's absolutely no reason why you can't make them work for winter as well as summer. All it needs is a few tweaks, so a pair of ankle boots, a pair of tights, maybe a top underneath here, or a cardigan over the top. There's always a way to make it work and it seems such a shame to leave all those lovely dresses hanging until we get some sunshine. Now dresses are particularly handy when you want to look chic on a budget because it's pretty much one piece and you're done. So when you find a beautiful one that's super affordable, I do like to snap them up quick. I love these big bell sleeves, the fact that they've used a really soft beige tone against the navy, I think that works really nicely. And even little details like the fact that they've covered all the buttons that go down the front in the same fabric as the dress. It's that attention to detail with a great price that really makes them stand out in my opinion. Now taking a look at some pieces on my wish list and I came up with this blue tonal outfit. This would work with any of your favourite colours but I'm particularly loving all the lovely blue tones I've seen recently so I decided to go with that. So when compiling an outfit, I often start with a piece that I found that I love and then I build around it. For example, this light blue mock neck sweater made from a blend of cotton and wool. Then I added some slimline cigarette pants. Oh, there's the noise. Let me know in the comment section below how much you think this pair of cigarette pants retail for. I will get together all the names of everyone who got it right, put their names in a hat, and I'll announce the winner in next month's video of affordable outfits how to look chic on a budget. So anyway, back to slim leg trousers, and these ones have got a bit of a crop as I really wanted to show my ankle. And I pair it with these hugely affordable brogues in black. Adding a wool blend navy coat that's retailing under 100 pounds, and a navy scarf currently on sale at Max Mara weekend that contrasts really nice against that lovely light blue jumper. If it's particularly cold where you are and you don't fancy bearing your ankles, why not switch out the brogues for a nice ankle boot instead? I would probably go with a black pair, and if you're worried about introducing another tone, why not just add a black handbag to pull it all together? One trend I always love to integrate into my outfits, and equally one that's particularly having a moment this 2021, would be the 70s trend. Now I can hear lots of you groaning already, but it doesn't have to be full on hippie and flares. You could just add a touch of it if you want. 
Firstly, I spotted this white blouse at Cezanne. If that's out of budget, however, I found a similar version made from 100% cotton at Mango, which I shall also link below. Now, having a statement piece like that in a beautiful quality means that you can then really save on your bottom half. For instance, I'd like to pair a beautiful blouse like this with this kind of denim skirt. I like the paper bag detail around the waistband, and this one's currently retailing at £25. I like adding gorgeous brown tones into an outfit like this and I found this really great option with this textured cardigan and knee-high leather boots from the sale to finish. The overall outfit looks very chic and on trend with a little bit of 70s Parisian style thrown into the mix, so just my cup of tea. I hope this video has given you lots of inspiration with all my affordable outfits. It would be really lovely to hear your favourite one I featured today in the comments section below. And don't forget to enter the giveaway where one person will win that £100 voucher to spend at Mango. I'll be back in a couple of days with lots more fashion advice, styling tips and outfit ideas. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.